So, one of the most searched terms on YouTube in relation to Warframe is still Entrati Lanthorn farming, which is not a big surprise for me because the resource is very rare. And it's also obtained in a relatively strange way when it comes to Warframe resources. It doesn't drop from enemies as far as I know because I've done many Void Floods with Necros and I haven't seen a single one drop from an enemy even via Desecrate. And it doesn't have its own resource node. The only way you get it to drop is by destroying a random resource container. How do I know this? Well, because I'm partially crazy and I went through exterminate after exterminate after exterminate without doing any AoE and I shot every single resource container one by one until one of them dropped the Lanthorn. And this is important because now that we know for sure this is how you get them, we can figure out the best way to do it. And it's gonna be essentially the same as farming Void Plumes. You want to carpet bomb as much of the mission as possible and then pick up all the dropped resources. The mission that I prefer and I would also recommend is the Halako Perimeter Exterminate and Capture missions are generally good for this kind of farming because you don't really have to focus on any objective, you're just shooting at all the enemies that you run into. But if you have good gear, you want to check the bounties first because the first one has one Lanthorn as a rare reward, the second one has three Lanthorns as a rare reward and the third one has three Lanthorns as an uncommon reward. You don't have to worry about the fourth and fifth one because they don't reward them. So if any of the first three bounties is either exterminate or a mission type that you really like to do and you have good enough gear to do it fast so it doesn't slow you down too much compared to the normal exterminate, you should do those instead. I would also highly recommend you get yourself some kind of loot radar with the easiest way of doing that being animal instinct or primed animal instinct. Though if you're gonna do this, make sure that you have a beefy enough companion so that it doesn't die. Now, there are kind of like two ways to do this farm effectively. The first one is what I usually do, which is to get a weapon with a ton of AoE and a lot of spare ammo, so something like the Tenet Envoy. This is very flexible, so you can choose your frame and you have two other weapon slots, and AoE weapons are generally fairly good, though they don't usually have great single target DPS, so it's usually better for the basic exterminate mission rather than for bounties, especially the third bounty. The second way to do this is via catabombing or some variation of catabombing. Now catabombing is essentially running a frame that has very cheap, very fast AoE that can destroy all these containers very quickly. One of the best examples of this is Limbo with his Cataclysm, thus Catabombing. You essentially just get Limbo with a little bit of defense so you don't die, especially if you're doing the bounties, and you give him a ton of range ton of efficiency and natural talent and all you do is just trigger cataclysm which will blow up all the resource containers and then you immediately turn it off and if there's anything left on your loot radar it's either going to be a resource like the lanthorn plume sculpture or something like that you can also turn on the big map which on pc is defaulted to m i don't actually know what it is on console to see a little bit more as well and that's pretty much all there is to it. I wasn't able to find out or figure out anything else. It's literally just like farming plumes. It's of course better if you do it in a party because, you know, four people can cover far more ground than if you're doing it solo. But if you are going to do it in a party, make sure that your party members will actually mark the lanthorns if they happen to get it. And just to put it all off, it's always a good idea when you're farming something like this, especially rare things, to run a Smita Kavat, which can bless you with good fortune and give you far more lanthorns. And if you can get a little bit of platinum together to get a booster or you get a booster from a daily login reward, you should definitely take advantage of that as well. And as always guys, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you have any more tips for farming lanthorns, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.